Okay, guys, so this is day three of answering cross-text questions. So you should already have this T-chart written down in your writing journal, okay? For bear, you should have the details. Gina uses or sees a bear in her yard. The rules she learned at school to help keep from getting hurt were important. She does not look at the bear in the eyes or run away, and she makes noise and backs up slowly. For hurricane warning, a hurricane is coming. Jack's family takes food, water, sleeping bags, and flashlights to a large closet on the second floor of their house, and they watch the news to see how bad the storm will get. And that should be they watch the news. Okay, so those are examples of what these two um, families did to prepare or how they were already prepared for a problem that nature causes. Okay, so now we're going to take this information and we're going to write a paragraph to answer our question. And remember, our question was this. Bear and hurricane warning both show the value of being prepared for problems caused by nature. Explain how each story suggests this theme. Use details from both stories to support your answer. So I would have, since I, you wrote this down in your journal, okay, this is going to be a Google Doc for you to type your answer into and turn it in. This is just in your writing journal, okay? So you're not turning this in. You did this to prepare you to write the paragraph. You will have one, a document that looks exactly like this with the question in the top. And it will be a Google Doc for you to turn into your teacher, okay? I'm going to give you an example of a pretty good answer, I think, for this question, okay? So the first thing I'm going to look at is the question. So I'm assuming that I have already reread the both of the stories and I've completed my T chart and I'm ready to go. So Bear and Hurricane Warning both show the value of being prepared for problems caused by nature. So that's the introductory sentence that I'm going to use for this paragraph. So I'm going to simply almost copy it being prepared for problems caused by nature is important, okay? So I started off, now my reader knows that I what I'm gonna be talking about, okay? I'm gonna start with the bear text, and I'm going to want to reference specific things in the text that suggest that being prepared is important, okay? So I'm gonna write in the text bear Gina saw a bear in her yard that had been taught rules in school to keep her from getting hurt, okay? Now, I am gonna give a specific example of the rule, the one that we had written down in the T-chart. So if we look up here, we have, she did, does not look the bear in the eyes or run away. She makes noise and backs up slowly. So I'm gonna do that in a separate sentence because that sentence was already kind of long, okay? So I'm going to put, for example, you shouldn't look a bear in the eye, and of course I know that I have some spelling errors, but I can go back and fix them, it's no problem, but you should make noise and back up instead. Okay, so that's my example. I've already talked about her having, uh, knowing rules, and I gave an example of the rule that she learned. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the other text. In hurricane 
warning. And the reason I have the quotation marks around there is because that is the title of the text. Jack and his family were preparing for a hurricane. Oh, not even close. By gathering supplies and watching the news for storm updates. Okay, now this one I could do in one sentence because it wasn't quite as long. I still gave an example that they were preparing for a hurricane by gathering supplies. Up here we had written down all of the specific supplies that they gathered, but that's not necessary when you're answering the question. So I put that he was preparing for a hurricane by gathering supplies and watching the news for storm updates. That's how they prepared for it. Now I still have to put a closing sentence and it has to be similar to my introductory sentence. So I'm going to put both of these stories showed the value of being prepared for problems caused by nature. Okay, so this is my response to the question. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read my response and I'm going to see, make sure I answered all parts of the question. What I like to do is I like to have mine in um, double spaced. I, that's just my preference. And it's easier to read for me. All right, so my question was, Bear and Hurricane Warning both show the value of being prepared for problems caused by nature. Explain how each story suggests this theme. Use details from both stories to support your answer, okay? So I'm gonna reread my answer and make sure it makes sense and that I've answered the question. Being prepared for problems caused by nature is important. In the text Bear, Jenna saw a bear in her yard, but had been taught rules in school to keep her from getting hurt. For example, you shouldn't look a bear in the eye, but you should make noise and back up instead. In Hurricane Warning, Jack and his family were preparing for a hurricane by gathering supplies and watching the news for storm updates. Both of these stories showed the value of being prepared for problems caused by nature. So I'm looking, did I talk about what both of the problems were. Yes, I did. I talked about the bear and I talked about the hurricane. Did I give examples of how these people were getting, being prepared for the problem is in nature? I gave specific examples in Jenna and also uh, pretty specific ones in the, the hurricane warning. And did they both show how important it was to get ready? I believe they do. So, you do not have to write this exact paragraph like I wrote it. This is just an example of an answer that you could give that would be appropriate for this question.